INS Vikrant remained the centerpiece of India's maritime strategy for four decades. Flying from an aircraft carrier at sea has always been the business of the bold and the brave. Whilst landlubber pilots have it comparatively easy to fly from terra firma, the seafaring aviators operate from a floating, mobile and often rolling and pitching deck at sea. After the aircraft is marshalled and taxied into position, the catapult wires are attached to the aircraft. The aircraft builds up full power, ready for its rightful place in the blue skies above. The release of the brakes and the catapult wires launches the aircraft with a vigorous thrust. An aircraft each 40 seconds and every second a sense of achievement. During recovery, the aircraft hook catches one of the four high-tension arrestor wires on the deck, resulting in a complete loss of speed, bringing the aircraft to a short halt within a 400 feet runway. There is no margin for error, no room for mistakes. It's all a story of guts, the unfulfilled desire of the seafarer to touch the skies with glory. There is no dawn, there is no dusk. It's an unending mission to attain perfection. Even whilst the Indian Navy's nascent air arm was in the process of being consolidated, Vikrant's aircraft undertook numerous reconnaissance missions during the 1961 liberation of Goa operations and the 1965 Indo-Pak War. However, her ultimate tryst with destiny, her moment of eternal glory that shall forever live in the annals of our naval history, was in the month of December 1971 during the Indo-Pak War. INS Vikrant continued to perform yeoman service for the nation. In 1987, she once again rose to the occasion when the Indian Navy was deployed during Operation Brass Stacks. The final launch of the Elysees from Vikrant took place on the 10th of May 1987, marking the end of 26 years of glorious and selfless service to the Indian Navy and the nation. The flight deck of Vikrant was later modified and the catapult and arrestor gear were removed and replaced by a newly constructed ski jump to operate the Sea Harrier jump jets.